Hey, how is it going? In today's tutorial, we will learn how to implement API automation step by step in Cypress. Let's get started. Create a project folder, set up npm and install Cypress dependency. Open Cypress test panel. And let's configure end-to-end -end testing in order to get a test spec file. Great! Open the project in a code editor. I will be using and recommend Visual Studio Code. Go to Cypress, end-to-end, spec.js and let's start coding. The test suite is represented by describe function that accepts a test suite name and a callback. A test suite may have one or multiple test scenarios. Each test scenario will be an it function that also accepts a test name and a callback. For practice purpose, I will be using the QA practice project that you have already seen in my previous tutorials. It provides an API Swagger documentation and our first test implies a get all employees request and assert response status code is 200. Update the template with proper test suite and scenario names. API testing doesn't involve any web pages, hence I'm going to replace line number 3 with ci.request. Request function accepts an object with a method type. that in our case it will be get method an URL and optional headers and request body I'm going to copy paste the URL of uh, our application To improve the readability, I am going to save the request as an alias. To catch the server response, we are going to use the alias. and add dot then promise function that will contain the response from this point feel free to use any assertion you want i'm going to use expect 
response.status to equal 200. Save the file, run the test, and let's see what happens. Great, we have green execution. For debugging purpose, we could use ci.log to see the exact response that we got from the server. Save the file, run the test, and we can see the log. We could also get some additional details in the console section. For the second test, we are going to use POST request in order to create a new employee in the database. To spare time, I am going to copy-paste the previous test. I am going to update its test name and alias and method type. We also need to add a request body as JSON with the following required details. Let's delete the log and update the response status code with 201. Save the file, run the test and let's see what happens. Great! Both tests passed.